But you know, today it's all about time. People don't have time. So this is a fast way to have a decent chicken soup. And I'm starting out with leeks. So if you don't know what leeks are, these are members of the onion family. And when you get them home, you gotta clean them because they're pretty dirty. So take off the, uh, the root end there. And then I like to leave a little bit of green on mm -hmm. mine, don't you, Tommy? Yeah, So of I course. just, I cut this part off, leaving a little bit of green because I like that look in my soup. I'm gonna get, I'm gonna send you home with those. Oh, good. And then you yeah. have to look down into these leeks and see, oh my, we are in luck. Oh, they're clean. They're look clean. No sand. Don't Aha. have to do anything. Oh, All right, so I mean, you want to wash them. You, you, want, to, to you, you want to make sure that they're, they're washed and clean. And then I just cut them up because all I'm going to do here is put this in a low sodium okay. chicken broth that now, you can get. Now, why low sodium? Well, because you don't want all that extra okay. salt. You don't all want right. all that extra salt. All right. And this is going to be the flavoring for that stock, for, okay. that, for that low sodium broth. Now, if you didn't want to use chicken, you could use... You could use like a, uh, a vegetable broth yeah. for this. So you need about a cup of leeks for this. Okay, oh. there we go. Tommy, you're always <laughs> welcome, as you know. I'm gonna turn this on now because what I have here is about a cup of that low sodium broth. And now I'm going to take the leeks and I wanna wilt these down right in the pan. Doesn't this sound easy? This is going in. Put them right in the pan and let them just wilt down. You'll let them get soft. This is gonna take you about three minutes to do. Is that all? Just about huh. three minutes, so that's really easy. So if you're coming home from work and you're saying to yourself, oh, what am I gonna make for supper? If you have a pantry that's got some low sodium chicken mm -hmm. broth in it and you've got a few leeks, if you don't have leeks, you could use scallions for this right. or just regular onion. So now. I'm gonna let that cook down a little bit. Now look what I've got. Oh, you cheated. I cheated. <laughs> This is a chicken from the grocery store, a rotisserie chicken. Look at that. It's already cooked for you. So, you have a problem with getting home and you don't wanna fool around with making chicken soup from scratch, you can use a store-bought chicken. Marianne, I'm so impressed with that. I know, well. That <laughs> <laughs> and all you have to do then is take off the skin. Okay. I want about like two cups All right. of cut up chicken. So you just take it and cut it up into pieces. So easy. Make sure you take the bones out, you see. Just cut it up into pieces. And when you and, you, and when these are wilted down, all I have to do is put the rest of the broth in, Boy. add the chicken. I'm gonna add some veggies and it's all ready to go. You see how easy this is? And you really only need a half of a chicken for this. And then you can save these bones. And make and a when stock. You have you time, throw them right in my stock. Yeah, hey, there's <laughs> an idea. And then when you have time, you can make chicken soup from scratch. Do you know, I, I, often, you, I often will um, have a big bag in the freezer that I throw in parts like that, you know, mm -hmm. bones, backs. If I can buy chicken backs at the grocery store, I save them, yep. and it's wonderful. And then when you have enough, I make you my can stock. make your soup. Okay. Now, I need to give that more broth. Okay. So you need about, oh, six Let get, cups. Let me get my tray out of And I'm going to put that right in with the rest of the leeks, or with the rest of the stock, rather, you see. You see how easy this is, Tommy? That is so simple. There's no excuse for not having soup. But you know, I'm afraid if I made it like that, my grandmother would appear in my kitchen well, you know, and scold me. Well. <laughs> This is what do you make a super like that for? This is for people on the go. All okay. right, so now right. we have salt and pepper in there. So there's my parsley. I'm just going to, yeah, if you lift the cover. Ta-da! Uh -huh. da oh, beautiful. That goes in. And now I can put my chicken in. You see? Wow. Look at how oh. easy this is. It's even beginning to smell delicious, yeah. isn't it? That oh. goes in. And we're going to let that cook for a couple minutes. Oh, okay. I need to put in some celery seed. Oh, now why celery seed? Well, I just think it brings out a nice flavor. Okay. I just like, so I don't like put any chopped celery in, just the nope, celery seed. just the okay. celery seed you put in. Great. Remember, we want to make this easy that's for That's right, that's right. This has got to be easy. And we give that, that a stir. stir. I'm going to turn the heat up on that now because I really want okay. that to get going. Yes. All right, now to gussy up this soup. Yes, ma'am. What I add at the end are whole cherry tomatoes. 
You leave them wow. whole, because they look really pretty in the soup, I think. Whole cherry tomatoes and about a cup of peas, frozen peas, fresh peas, whatever you have. I'm but you add them soup. at the end, because you don't want those peas to be mush. Okay. So you put okay. the peas in. You give that a nice stir. Look at how pretty that looks. It's, beautiful. it's like you, the Italian flag. Well, that's right. And Red, you just and green. let this come <laughs> to a boil when it's hot. Soup's on.